So how did these songs get built? One of the unique aspects of making records is that we're dealing with a final experience, which is invisible. Yes, it's made up of music which in itself has its own component parts, but we're playing with an absence of physicality. We only have the screen or sheet music giving us just a shadowy representation. Communicating becomes a great challenge in the writing studio. Listening to the keys, tempo and how certain sounds make us feel becomes part of the process of building these songs together. But also the style and history of the composer and musician plays a big part. Tim Harries, as he plays the bass or the piano, builds the chords for a song, making certain choices which resonate with what the world of the album should be. Petter Eriksson Stacki is of Swedish descent, but having spent his life in London and America, has been listening to Nick Cave, Leonard Cohen, Dylan, and he invents with both of these deep traditions and interesting tunings on the guitar. When Luke Potashnik came up with the musical parts for Airtime, as a lyricist, you want to weave words that match the intimacy of that groove. The song A Love Like That was written with Sam Dixon from South Australia, and we're lucky to have him here in London. At the end of our writing day, the song's musical landscape was fully formed, including that rolling guitar riff. My brother Zurab Melua is also part of the co-composer's team. Maybe I dreamt it and leaving the mountain should sound like effortless songs, but the skills to write them took years of honing and practice. We build the songs together, and as music moves through time, we have to manage that moment after moment sequence of harmonies, melodies, words and instruments into a completed new song. <laughs>